It certainly is mad, and it has been since we began covering this protest four days ago. Now, we wanted to give you a live look outside of City Hall and Kansas City Police Headquarters so you can see for yourself the number of tents that are here at this hour. The protesters are demanding changes after this video emerged on social media. It shows a pregnant 25-year-old Deja Stallings being arrested Wednesday night as a Kansas City police officer appears to put his knee on her back. Now, police say they arrested Stallings for physically interfering with an arrest. The protesters say they will not leave this area outside of City Hall and Kansas City Police Headquarters until Police Chief Rick Smith and the officer involved are fired. They also want funding to the police department to be cut in half and those resources allocated to education efforts and mental health services. Our youngest victim of police brutality hasn't even been born yet. How are people not disgusted? I do not believe that uh, we can defund the police by 50% in Kansas City. One, I don't think legally it's allowed under Missouri statute, which requires us to use 20% of our general fund for the police. I don't know if it would be realistic to defund them 50%, at least in short order. In terms of the police chief, we have a board process. Uh, there are five people on that board. Uh, and there has not been any type of determination that there's a want for termination of the chief of police. Now, the mayor went on to say that city leaders, including himself, can do better and they should. These protesters tell me they will stay here indefinitely until their demands are met. Reporting live in Kansas City, Kelly Gibbs, KNBC 9 News.